Well, another funky shaped attacking tactic for you. I'm going to assume this is going to do somewhat well. However, this one is called the 41212 99% pressure version 2. So this is another tactic by Delicious Story that tends to be not as highly rated for the underdog teams as it is for the sub top teams. Uh, underdog only has one out of five stars. Win percentage is just below 47. Loss percentage is just above 36. Uh, so it looks like it's been doing okay. There is very little information. It says tested with saints, but gonna run a four or five WTE. I want something else than Bundesliga. Uh, so make of that what you will. He does have for all of his tactics, it seems, a list of teams that he used or their you know points that they got, uh, home and away, things like that. So he has a full set of stats for all the tactics that he's created. Uh, and it's actually really impressive that he's been building on this. Absolutely crazy. And he's got apparently a bunch that he hasn't done yet. So check that out when you get a chance as you're taking a look at this. But we start out with a sweeper keeper in defend, inverted wing backs on the left and right in support, ball playing defenders in defend, defensive winger on the left and the right with a DM in support centrally, an attacking midfield in attack kind of on the left side, and then two advanced forwards on the right in attacking as well. Balanced mentality. In possession is attacking with standard approach plays pass into space, underlap in the left and right, and focus play down the left and right. Passing directness is shorter, tempo is higher. Final third is low crosses and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter, and distribute to the fullbacks. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and get stuck in. Now, how did it do for our three teams? As you could see, pretty nice. Tottenham and Newcastle drawing at 81 points apiece. Man City cruising to the top with 92. However, if Man City had a kind of a down year, 81 points, if you picked it up a little bit more, maybe got to 84, 85, could have been something. But Wolves with 73, definitely a higher than usual average for them. Schedule-wise for Tottenham, 9-0 start out over Everton. Absolute insanity right there. However, the next three are just not great. But you continue on, you, from that point on, you get three losses and that's it. So it looks like you're continuing on in a bunch of different things. EFL Cup, wow, look at that run. Champions League round of 16, 1-2 loss to FC Barcelona. However, you kick the crap out of them 4-0 at home. So you're continuing on everything, a smattering of losses here and there. FA Cup semifinals against Liverpool is where you are out. However, Champions League final, Manchester City, you beat them very handily, 4-0. And then EFL Cup Final, 5-2 over Manchester United. I mean, beating the likes of Man U and Man City, pretty big feats. Newcastle schedule, starting off as usual, Liverpool loss. You're out against Wolves in the EFL Cup second round automatically. Uh, you do pick up another loss against Leeds, but you do beat Wolves 5-2 right there. You have a nice set of, just a nice run from that point up until Brighton. Man, you, know, you got nil three. Uh, FA Cup, you're through. FA Cup, you're through till the quarterfinals against Arsenal. One to two loss. You still go pretty far. And the sea of green and some yellow is still pretty nice. 7-2 against Fulham. Wolf schedule, fairly okay uh, through August and September. But October, picking it up. November. And then sort of continuing on to December. You do lose, lose out in the FL Cup fourth round against Arsenal 1-2. But another sea of points right there. Southampton loss. FA Cup fifth round against Tottenham. There you go. A smattering of losses here and there. But overall, really well done. Tottenham transfer-wise, nothing we really haven't seen before. No real outs for any kind of actual money. You do bring Weston Shutalo and Shakir in from Trabon Sport for $14 million. Newcastle, no real outs there either. You do bring Kai Kennedy and Evan Nielsen in from FC Porto for $47 million. Wow. Wolves, Daniel Potence is the only out for 4.1, and Chiquinho from Benfica is the only in for 3.9. So, yeah, as you would expect. So where does that leave us with the squads themselves? Harry Kane with 55 appearances, Marius Wolf with 4, 51 plus 4, Sun with 50 plus 2. Goals-wise, 47 for Kane, an absolute monster there. Sun with 29, and Richard Leeson with 21, so he's picking it up a bit too. 28 assists for Porro, Sun with 14, and Kulisewski with 12. Average rating 754 for Kane, Sun with 745, and then 728 for Richard Leeson. The three of them together in some of these tactics are just beast mode enabled. Newcastle appearances, St. Maxim and Isaac and Target with 42 plus 1, 41 plus 1 apiece. 
You got goals wise 32 for Isaac doing a fantastic job there. Evan Hilson with 21 and 16 for Horta. And then assist wise 13 for Isaac is still a pretty nice tally. St. Maximum with 12 and then a couple with nine. Target and Trippier. Average rating Evan Hilson with 794 in 19 appearances. That's insane. 7 7 0 for Isaac. Uh, I mean, 41 plus one, that's crazy too. 7-3-6 for Horta. Horta really picking it up in this tactic. We haven't really seen much of him before. Data Hub, all three teams pretty much the same. Set decently in defense and very good in attack. You can see goals per game. Uh, Non-expected penalty goals are pretty nice as well. You got, I mean, we've seen it all before. Shots are there. Dribbling this time around is pretty nice. And if you look at the Newcastle, somewhat similar. Uh, shaky defensively in this one. Wolves, probably the same. Shaky defensively, there you go. And if we look at the stats, I mean, 103 goals for Tottenham. Newcastle with 101. Wolves with 97 tied for Man City. So really the top three teams are our three teams in goals. That tells you all you need to know about this tactic. Few shots against Tottenham are in there, but most possession, nobody. Dribbles made. You actually have all three teams. Newcastle all the way down in eighth. Uh, few is conceded and most shutouts, Tottenham. Most tackles won. Tottenham and Newcastle are up there. Best pass completion, nobody. Not a passing tactic. Dribbling, yes. Passing, no. Uh, but most shots for Tottenham, Newcastle, and Wolves, 737. We've already taken a look, but absolutely insanity. And most points per game, as you would expect. I mean, Tottenham and Newcastle in this case are flipped, but still. They're all they're tied with points. Doesn't matter. Most goals, Holland and Nunez are in there. Wow, Nunez up there. Isaac with 26. Harry Kane with 25. Evan Nielsen with 21. Cunha and Jimenez with 20 apiece. I mean, that's a good smattering of, of people right there in that list. Sarabia and Porro up there with most assists. You got Isaac and Son as well. 27. Jeez. I don't even know what the record is, but that's got to be up there. Harry Kane, most player of the match awards was seven. Uh, at this point, you're getting, getting the averages. Best pass completion, no one. Dribbles made. St. Maximin and Neto up there. Few is conceded, but tackles one target is doing some defensive work. Key passes, Sarabi and Trippier, as you would expect, always up there at the top, generally. Uh, Ruben Eze, unless they've had a really off year. Ruben Eze, Neves in the list as well. Most shots, Isaac Jimenez, Cunha, and Kane, uh, as well as Sarabi, 94, all the way up to 155. But Holland, I mean, 186, what do you expect? All in all, this tactic did really well. Uh, all three teams, I mean, I think definitely if you picked it up, you took control with, you know, Tottenham for anyone. Transfer-wise, shout-wise, you know, training, everything. If you do what you do and you do it well, you're going to get well above 81 points. A lot of those draws, you know, nine draws, any of those could be turned into three points. So, but that is it for me. Sefian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.